Hi, this is Tapcat. Welcome back to Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. We are at the Divine Syndicate and uh, we've kind of looked around the grounds. We're going to go into their temple. I assume that's what you would call it. Okay. He said something about trying a, a thing that was near the door. Um, I forget what he called it now. It's, <laughs> it actually sounded really dangerous. It was like a defoliant or some stupid thing. Drugs table. Maybe this is it. That should be the raw sap that the Green Grand Mystic spoke of. Yeah. Hmm. This is rather delicious and of an excellent quality. My word, Holmes. Their sap is like a form of cocaine. Okay. I wonder if that's going to do something to me. Yeah, I kind of hope not. Okay. So there's a door we can go out. Uh, can we talk to this guy? Yes, but let's hold off a bit. This must be Triwan, the Divine Syndicate's god. Okay. Not a lot going on there. Is that door padlocked? Anything going on in the middle here? I can't uh, interact with any of those little things that are put on the tree. So why don't we talk, try to talk to the adept. Osmosis and photosynthesis. Okay, that was very helpful. Yeah, these guys just talk gibberish. This whole thing, it's such a scam. What's going on here? Wait, I had it, and then it went away. Cage with caterpillars. Ah, <gasps> caterpillars. That bottle. Caterpillars. They are raised as food for certain plants. Let's take them. <laughs> I thought we would take like one or two. More cages, huh? Isn't this like the plant that we saw? A tropical plant. Nothing of interest. Okay. A tropical plant. Nothing of interest. Hmm. Well, it's of interest to me, Holmes. Okay, nothing there. I should probably focus on one side at a time here. I'll make things a bit easier. This looks a like a tropical plant. Yeah. Nothing of interest. A tropical plant. Nothing of interest. You know, one of these has to have... Okay, these are different, so... I think there will be something. A tropical plant. Nothing of interest. Oh, come on now. A tropical plant. Nothing of interest. <sighs> so they're just going to make me look at a bunch of crap that's not of interest? Come on, it's got to be here somewhere. These three plants are identical to the ones shown at the exhibition. I shall take them. Okay. <laughs> I love that. So now do I just like have them tucked under my arm or something? It's not something I can, you know, discreetly slip in a pocket. No? Really? Huh. Oh, that's... Okay. I guess none of these are going to work, right? Okay, there we go. Set up the experiment. So we have to do another thing with uh, caterpillars and deadly plants. That's fine. And now that we're back down to these, none of those are going to line up. So that's fine. And we're gathering clues. You know, that's that's important. I wouldn't say I feel like I'm on the verge of a solution. Um, the 
funny thing is, you know, like what we just found makes these guys definitely look guilty. This door is locked, but I can try. To uh, but it. almost everybody I talk to, like they look guilty. So okay. There we go. Yep. Ooh. What's up in here? What are you guys hiding behind that lock? These instruments are used for smoking opium. Okay, I don't know that we really care about that. This substance is an alkaloid, the same as in the bottle we found in the bushes at Kew Gardens. Perfect, Watson. We can begin our experiment. Are we going to do it here? This cabinet is full of chemicals. They are the same as the ones we found in the laboratory at Kew Gardens. Okay. That would be enough to perform the most difficult of chemical experiments. Okay, so we aren't doing it here. We go back to Baker Street. A vast amount of opium. Well, again, I don't... I mean, unless uh, Monty was going to rat them out for the opium, I don't know if that's relevant to the case. I mean, we could certainly get them in trouble, but... Okay. Did I have a uh, a task to examine this place? It looks like if I did, find out what the Divine Syndicate is concealing. That's not the quite, it's quite the same thing as searching this. The experiment may provide the key. I feel like we've searched uh, about as much as we can here. Uh, maybe I'm missing something. Oh, I have to. There you go. It's a pretty cool looking gong, actually. Okay. So, I guess, at this point... You know what I would like to do? I realized um, there's... Probably some buildings at Kew Gardens we did not thoroughly examine. So before we go back to Baker Street, I want to go there. Okay, so what I want to do is go to the map. We've been in the Palm House, we've been in the Water Lily, we've been in Dry Tropics. I think maybe the nursery... We didn't search and ventilation system behind the seat house. And I don't know that we searched in there. So uh, let's let's go back this way. We ran through here. But we didn't search. It's not the same thing. Okay. Anything in these cabinets? This poster is for an exhibition that Martin Hamish was directing. But it had nothing to do with Kew Gardens. This certificate belongs to Martin Hamish. He won a horticultural competition. So this guy definitely knows plants. A thesis written by Martin Hamish. There's got to be something else. A glasses case. It is empty. This area serves as Martin Hamish's office. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, anything else? These young plants must be delicate if they are kept in the nursery. Well, 
Isn't that sort of the purpose of a nursery? Okay. Bust. A bust. We have that piece. It is a bust of Montague Dunn. Is there a piece missing? Huh, maybe not. Maybe not. But there's something because this hasn't closed itself yet. Oh, oh. I am curious if the marble that we found will fit this place. Here it is. Hmm. The marble fragment that we found in the colonial collection room is what they have in common. Like a glove. Okay. Okay, well, that was well worth seeing. Now, I still want to check out new seeds. The seeds of plant species are stored here. I don't remember seeing that before either. Let's just check this room out. Um... We definitely talked to Margaret, but I wonder if we saw everything there was to see. Although, it seems like there isn't a lot to see. So, we will, uh, we will see about the ventilation, perhaps? Oh, that wasn't the seed house, that was still the nursery. Okay. So there's Margaret. I don't know if we'll have anything new to talk to her about. I guess since she's literally right there, we could try. I just want to make sure. Oh, well, that's right. I opened the windows. So I guess I did try and, and search this place. Oh, Mr. Montague Dunn. It is so awful. Okay. She doesn't have anything. So, maybe we'll just press on. Let me just check over here. I don't remember going by these seed things, but it doesn't matter. There's nothing there. We're going to press on and try to get to that ventilation spot. Although, yeah, it, this is it. This is what I'm looking for. Okay. A ventilation system. It should regulate the temperature of the staff buildings. Okay. So he's not actually going to do anything with it. And it doesn't seem like there's any objects over here that we're interested in manipulating. So we may have found what we are going to find. I don't know, well, okay, I do know. I was going to say, I don't know if any of this stuff truly helped us, but we were definitely supposed to find out where that piece of the bust went. So, all right, we'll go back to Scotland, or excuse me, to Baker Street and perform that analysis. Okay. Lab table, here I come. I imagine that one of these plants would be capable of releasing a toxic vapor. I need to find out exactly how it could be done. I shall begin now. Watson, if you are at all optimistic to have dinner this evening, then I'd recommend that you put on the gas mask. Mm. Uh, we'll start with this one, I guess. What am I supposed to do with it? Okay, I don't get it. Yeah, he, they're not... <laughs> this is where I do get frustrated with the game sometimes. It's, it's telling me literally nothing. This plant becomes inactive after being drenched with alkaloid. Okay. Uh, 
How interesting. Oh my god. What a strong and effective defensive mechanism. Oh my god. Uh, a pin? My word. It shot a spike at me after I stabbed it with a pin. I imagined that its reaction would be ferocious if I increased the strength of my attack. Do I... No. My word. Okay. Put that back. So is that all of the, the things? So I mentioned I get frustrated sometimes when I don't know what to do. But in fairness to the game, uh, as in this case, it usually is something you can kind of noodle out relatively quickly. Hmm. This plant becomes inactive after being drenched with alkaloid. Much like the other one. I find the behavior of predators utterly fascinating. Well, since I'm holding this, I might as well just go ahead and do it. Okay. Oh my god. Alright, let's do the pin and that'll finish this one off. It appears to have fallen inactive after being disturbed. It's got to be this one. No reaction. I think there will be. It appears to open after being soaked with alkaloid. Okay, I want to try a caterpillar now that it's open. Well, it doesn't matter. It closed again. I believe I saw a small cloud of gas. I wonder what secrets this plant is hiding. Perhaps if we agitate it to a greater extent whilst it is opened, it will reveal a little more. I am interested in what might occur if the prickly plant should shoot at it. Okay. Can I... yeah. Okay, so I need to make it open. And then... It appears to open after being soaked with alkaloid. Uh, was it the pin that made this? My no. word. It just shoots at me. Maybe it was the caterpillar. Oh, hmm. There we go. Toxic gas with spores. Extraordinary. Extraordinary indeed. The plants would be capable of killing only if they were directly next to the victim and stimulated at precisely the right moment. Let us take our caterpillars to the colonial collection room. We may see things more clearly there. It is too early, Watson. Our suspects will be there. Let us investigate Kew Gardens one more time and ask some questions. Well, if I knew that was going to happen, I probably would have waited to do the one thing. Albert is not very good at botany. It's doubtful that he could have learned how the plants might release their deadly spores. Uh, I'm actually on board with that. I think, realistically, he's the only one who just could not have done this. Okay. And let me just make sure. Do I have... No. Oh, wait. Dug on it. Let me go back to those. Deadly Precision White Studies. Now, I don't know if she really knows enough either. But she might. You know, it's funny because you'll often hear people say, Poison is a woman's weapon. 
Whether that's true, like statistically, I don't know. It's only something that I've heard. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll see. Okay, so he's saying we go back to Kew Gardens. Before I do that, so the marble fragment, yeah. Shoosh. Um, we may not have found everything at the Divine Syndicate. I think that's worth remembering. But for now, let's go back to Kew Gardens. The bust. There is a bust of Montague Dunn in the nursery. A bust? Oh, that old thing. Further proof of that outrageous ego of his. But why in that room in particular? Oh, I, I don't know. It has always been there. It is strange, because I recovered a fragment of the bust inside the colonial collection room. Really? Oh, well, so I am mistaken. It ought to have been removed during the cleanup. This room is so small. Hmm. Do you know who moved it? I have no idea. Surely Mr. Dunn requested it. Do you have any more questions like this? Because fragments of rock are not my responsibility. <laughs> Evidently. Can you tell me if you saw Mr. Montague Dunn on the day of his death? Yes, of course. I met him, and we went to see Albert, his son, at around half past nine. He appeared quite calm. What were you doing on the morning of the accident? After paying multiple visits to Albert, I had a little talk with Miss White. Then I returned to my desk to complete some paperwork. Suddenly, I observed that Mr. Dunn was not feeling well, so I ran immediately to fetch Albert. I clearly remember that it was around half past ten, for I was late that morning. Thank you, Mr. Hamish. We shall continue mm. our investigation. I strongly suspect him. He's such a liar. <clears throat> let's talk to... <clears throat> Excuse me, let's talk to Albert. Your father's death does seem highly suspicious. What were your movements here on that day? Suspicious? Well, I was working in the seed house, taking care of a lyset, a something, or, or Lear, uh, Pontus, or... No, wait. Ah, oh, these Latin names. And I spent so many hours trying to memorize them. Did you see your father that day? Yes. He came here with Mr. Hamish for his weekly visit. There was nothing unusual about that. And then? Nothing. They stepped out to the backyard. It was perhaps 20 minutes before 10 o'clock. Then about 10 minutes later, I saw my father heading for the dry tropics room while Mr. Hamish returned here. And Mr. Hamish and Miss White, what were they both doing that morning? Mr. Hamish visited me a couple of times. I also saw him returning from talking with Miss White, and that was at 10 minutes past 10. But then he ran back here to me to tell me that my father was feeling unwell. We hurried across to the water lily room and I found my father lying dead on the floor. Oh my God. Thank you, young man. We shall see you again soon. Hmm. He's awfully broken up. I mean, losing your father is losing your father, but it seems like he really hated his dad, or he certainly had a reason to. And days later, he apparently still can't stop crying about it. I don't know. I don't trust any of these people, I'll be honest. Okay. Can you tell me what Mr. Dunn was doing upon the day of his death? I can. But there is nothing very special to say. I was in the laboratory when I saw Mr. Dunn heading towards me. Tuesday is the day of his weekly visit. It was supposed to be at nine, but he was ten minutes late, as usual. And then? Well, he came in to say good morning. Then I saw him spend two or three minutes by the plants outside the laboratory. After that, he ran out in the direction of the nursery. 
where Mr. Hamish was working. He was always in a rush during the inspection, you see. I would pity anyone who stood in his way. And that was the last time you saw him? Yes. I stayed in the laboratory until 20 minutes to 11, when I heard the cries of Albert to Mr. Hamish from the large glass house. I joined them as soon as I could, for I knew that something must be very wrong. What exactly were you doing in the laboratory? I was recording an experiment for my thesis. I only stopped my work once when Mr. Hamish visited me briefly around 10 o'clock. You say you were recording an experiment when the tragedy occurred. Might I listen to the role? Oh, certainly. Please do. You will find it in the laboratory. It is number 320. Uh, thank you, miss. Everyone has gone, Holmes. The way is clear. Okay. Um... <laughs> What was I going to do here? Um, didn't I already do this? Well, let's do it again. This doesn't seem, uh... This doesn't seem to be very effective. Deactivate. I don't get it. Oh, okay. Um, maybe I do get it. So let's come over here. Inhaling the spores. So escaping the room is number one. This is number two. And that's all I get? This doesn't make sense. Hold on. Yeah, reset sequence, because we would want in healing the spores to be number one. No, it wasn't like that. I know it wasn't like that. Can we try it again, please? In healing the spores, yes. Why isn't it starting? Shouldn't it? Okay. So we only get those two spots. That just seems so odd to me. Yeah, okay. I would just would have thought that breaking the bust would have been a step, but eh, whatever. So is that it? When Montague Dunn was standing close by the plants, the caterpillars were released and caused the deadly spores to activate. Panicking and likely already half asphyxiated, Montague Dunn started back and knocked over the bust. He rushed to the door, but it was locked. He had to force it open with his shoulder. We already know the outcome. Montague Dunn collapsed and died not far from the pool. Well, it is time to perform our experiments on the ventilation system. Hmm. I would love to do that. However, it is time to go. So, um, I actually don't even know what we're going to do with the ventilation system exactly. Oh, I see. So there's a vent right here on top of where those were. So we're going to place caterpillars. Wow. Okay. Um, so this should be really interesting, but that'll have to wait until we come back. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. I hope we see you next time.